Good afternoon. My name is Janice McGrory, and I come from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And I'm here with my daughter, Liz. This is my Lizzie right here. I am here to talk about my daughter, Elizabeth Lafort. The day she was born in 1987 was one of the happiest days of my life. And the day she died in 2011 was by far the saddest, most devastating day of my life. She died of a heroin overdose. Liz was a great kid, a loving daughter, kind, considerate, thoughtful. She was on the National Honor Society, a cheerleader, dancer, soccer player, basketball player. She graduated 10th in her high school class. She had a presidential scholarship at college. She had it all friends, smarts, talent, and beauty. She mattered to me. She mattered to her family. She mattered to society. She mattered then, and she still matters now. One day, she made a bad choice. She tried Oxycontin. She liked it. From that one bad choice, her life was set on a path of destruction. By the end of her senior year, she not only graduated from high school, she graduated from doing oxys to shooting heroin. Liz was unprepared for the tentacles of opiate drugs. The next five years were like a roller coaster. She went in and out of detoxes and at least a dozen different programs, hospitals, courts, and even jail. You see, my Liz was a drug addict. My daughter and all of the pictures down in front of you are the pictures of today's addict. Liz did not want to be an addict. She did not think her life would only be focused on getting her next fix. Her addiction began with prescription drugs. She once said to me, Mom, I wish I had never taken that first pill. I would rather have cancer. That first pill led to her heroin addiction and her ultimate death. Prescription opioid drugs wrapped their tentacles around my daughter and squeezed the life out of her. The pharmaceutical companies killed my daughter. She died at the hands of the manufacturers of prescription drugs who knowingly and purposely, yes, purposely and intentionally marketed produced and distributed these highly addictive drugs in quantities that far exceed the actual need for these drugs. Pills that have killed thousands, and not just our precious children, parents, aunts, uncles, friends, and our veterans as well. This is a full-blown epidemic. It is a runaway locomotive a locomotive that should be driven carefully by the pharmaceutical companies and monitored closely by our federal agencies. Why is it so difficult for us to get our government to help us fight this war? Why are they allowing more addictive drugs to be put on the market, like Sohydro? Really? Where is the outrage when trusted doctors are prescribing addictive medication to our youth for sports injuries or tooth pulls? Why is it that someone who has the disease of cancer is treated with the respect that they deserve, they get the best medical treatment, insurance coverage, and billions of dollars to find a cure, yet the disease of addiction gets none of that respect and attention? It is swept under the rug. How many parents must weep over their child's casket before the gov government steps in to fight this war? My daughter and others are dead because of opioid prescription drugs. Life will never be the same for us, but they still matter to families, to friends, to society. They will always matter. My daughter's life and the life of others who have died or addicted to do matter to the money-making pharmaceuticals, nor do they matter to the federal government. They are shrugged off as casualties. I will not accept that. We will not accept that. 
This has to change, and we are here today to make our voices heard in the name of our loved lost ones and in the name of all those in the throes of addiction. In closing, I want to say thank you for coming today as we unite from across this country at this rally. It is a time of sadness for those we have lost to addiction. It is also a time of hope. It is a time that we, all of us here, tell our federal government that we demand change, that we cannot and will not sit back as thousands die of drug overdoses and others become addicted while the pharmaceuticals make billions of dollars at the expense of our children. Thank you all for coming.